I'm Kyle Backus. On April 28th of 2020, my mom was killed as a result of someone else's negligence. It's completely changed my life and the way I practice law. If you too have felt the pain of losing a loved one and you don't know where to turn, let me be your guide on what to do next when the unthinkable happens. One of the practice areas that a lot of people don't realize that our firm actually specializes in is sexual assault claims. And I think there's that disconnect of, oh, I didn't realize or recognize that sexual assault claims are in fact a personal injury. People ask themselves, well, how is that a personal injury claim? And, and what kind of damages are even recoverable? There are emotional consequences, there can be other financial consequences. And so the full measure of economic losses, meaning medical expenses, counseling expenses, missed time from work and the wage loss you may have incurred, impact on your future ability to earn money while you deal and work through the injuries that you sustained. That's just one side of it. The other side is what we call the non-economic losses. This is the suffering. Everything that you've endured, there's value associated with that that's recoverable under the law. And depending upon the state and the circumstance, there may be no cap, meaning no lid on what those damages may be valued at. One of the things in every sexual assault claim is that there's something called a statute of limitations. A statute of limitations is basically you have until a certain date after a sexual assault to bring a claim. Otherwise, if you don't bring a claim within that time frame, your claim may be what's called forever barred, meaning you can't bring it. But what's really important to understand about the statute of limitations is one, if you don't meet your statute of limitations, your claim is forever barred. Two, in most states, including Colorado specifically, the legislatures have recently, as a result of the Me Too movement and other movements, have recently removed the statute of limitations from many sexual assault claims. The person or people who will be able to answer the technical statute of limitations question for your particular situation is going to be a lawyer who specializes in sexual assault claims. We hear about victim, you are a survivor. You have survived this and we are going to help you as a survivor and we believe you and we are here to help you and we will help build your case for you and we will find out if there is a recovery that can be had on your behalf and we will tell you if your case is time barred, which is an important thing to know. And if it's not time barred, to be able to tell you what we believe your damages may be that can be proved and how we can prove those and how we can confidentially try to approach the perpetrator or the entity who employed the perpetrator, right? And get you the justice that you deserve as a survivor of a sexual assault. We're here for you.